Katie Taylor has won every gold medal and belt in boxing and earned millions of dollars. And yet it's her demeanor outside of the ring which has made her into the international superstar that everyone knows and loves. First, let's see where Katie developed her love for boxing. Number 8. Katie Taylor's Early Life Katie was born in Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Her father Pete Taylor was born near Leeds and grew up in Birmingham. He first visited Bray to work with his father in the amusement arcades on the seafront. After meeting and marrying Bridget, he decided to settle in Bray. Together with his wife Bridget, they had Katie, her older sister Sarah, and two older brothers named Lee and Peter. Peter would even go on to become a mathematics professor at Dublin City University. So it is safe to say that the Taylor family had some high standards. Katie attended St. Killian's Community School in Bray, the same school all her siblings went to as well. There she continued her interest in athletics and played association football, ladies Gaelic football, and camogie, which is an Irish stick and ball team sport for women. She was a member of Bray Runners, a local athletics club, and several American colleges reportedly offered her sports scholarships while she was studying at St. Killian's. But of course, her true love was boxing, which she has her dad to thank. Number 7. How She Started Boxing In 1986, Pete Taylor became an Irish senior light heavyweight champion boxer. Originally an electrician by trade, he eventually became Taylor's full-time boxing coach. Bridget also developed an interest in boxing and became one of the earliest female referees and judges in Ireland. So it is clear that boxing ran in the Taylor family. Katie attended the University of College Dublin, but as her sporting career began to take off, she chose not to complete her studies. Katie had been boxing since she was 12 years old, and by the time she was 15, she had fought in the first officially sanctioned female boxing match in Ireland and defeated Alana Audley from Belfast. And seeing how the rest of her career went from that point, it's no wonder Katie opted to pursue her boxing journey rather than her studies. The term greatest of all time gets thrown around a little too casually sometimes, but when it comes to Katie Taylor, GOAT is the only way to describe her accomplishments. Number 6. Career Achievements In her boxing career, Katie has won 18 gold medals. This impressive accomplishment spans from 2005, when she won her first of six European championships, to 2015, when she won her one and only European Games gold medal. During this time, she took home a gold in the Olympics in 2012 and five gold medals at the World Championships and five golds at the EU Championships. Since transitioning to professional boxing, Katie has amassed a record of 22-1. This run included winning the WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO, and the Ring female lightweight titles. On top of that, she has been named the Sports Person of the Year, Sports Woman of the Year, Female Fighter of the Year, and the World Female Boxer of the Year. Her fight against Amanda Serrano was the first women's boxing match to headline Madison Square Garden and was described as the biggest women's fight of all time in the buildup. The bout was named Fight of the Year and the Event of the Year. They fought for history and they're making history! So it is clear that Katie accomplished everything she wanted in the boxing realm. But let's take a look at how well she has paid for her efforts. Number 5. Career Earnings Katie holds one of the most expensive women's boxing contracts, worth over a million dollars per fight. However, it was a slow grind to get to that figure. For several fights early on in her career, she made between $4,000 to $75,000. It wouldn't be until her 12th fight against Eva Wallstrom that she made $200,000. That breakthrough would foreshadow things to come, as that would be the lowest figure she would earn during the rest of her professional career. She made $500,000 for her win over Delphine Pearson and Christina Lernardetau. For her rematch with Pearson, Katie officially earned her first million dollar paycheck. Her next seven fights would earn her a minimum of one million dollars and would occasionally win her one and a half million and even go as high as $2.2 which Katie earned for her fight against Chantel Cameron. On top of that, Katie has had massive success with sponsorships over the year, and now her very own brand has been taking off as well. Number 4. Brand and Sponsorships Katie has previously worked with Toyota, KPMG, Bank of Ireland FX, Aramark Ireland, It's for Women.ie, Windsor Motor Group, and Adidas. 
Her father estimated that Katie has given up low six-figure annual deals from two or three Irish brands and left somewhere in the region of 250,000 euros per year on the table in order to pursue her very own sportswear brand named KT. Katie's company reported assets of just over 1.7 million euros in June 2021. Taylor and her sister Sarah Taylor are counted as directors, and their remuneration rose from 48,000 euros to 52,000 euros last year, although the company recorded a loss of 37,000 euros in 2021 and 46,000 euros in 2020 before years of consistent profits. Now, Katie does work with Gymshark in partnership with her own brand, and one of the reasons why Katie was able to move on from sponsorships to make her own brand was because of her social media pull and popularity. Number three, social media present. On Twitter, Katie has nearly 250,000 followers, and on Instagram, she has an impressive 567,000. Her feed is full of her training sessions and behind the scenes pictures of her camps. But more importantly, she shows off her charity work and devotion to her religious beliefs. Her humble nature mixed with her willingness to do good for her charity is a special combination which has made her a hero in Ireland. In addition, she's truly a family-oriented person as her social media is full of pictures of her grandparents, nephews, brothers, and sisters. And if you weren't convinced that fighting is in her blood yet, she also has a cousin in the UFC named Molly McCann. Number 2. Outside the Ring Whether it's inside the ring or outside, Katie keeps herself busy. When she isn't training for her mega fights, Katie does different interviews and television appearances. Back in 2009, she was a coach on RTE's charity Lord of the Ring and appeared in advertisements in 2011 alongside English rapper Tiny Tempa and drummer Travis Barker. Katie has also released an illustrated memoir about her life in 2012 called My Olympic Dream and a documentary called Katie in 2018. The doc chronicled her early life and journey to her first title shot. So we highly recommend that one. Katie has also had a successful associated football career where she played midfielder and forward and even represented Ireland in the international scenes. Number 1. Her Net Worth When it comes to Katie Taylor's net worth, we have to take into consideration her fight purses, brand deals, and her own business. With her fights, we know that she has made several millions over the span of her career. Not too bad. As for her brand deals, her net worth would have been much higher if she continued to work with some of the biggest brands on the planet. But still, it seems like she got a decent amount from them before starting her own company. Speaking of which, the KT brand has been a little up and down and we doubt it has been as profitable as Katie would have liked, but still it's something she owns and has full control over, so we doubt she's too troubled by it. Now with all of that being said, we would estimate that her net worth is somewhere between 8 to 12 million dollars and could increase as the popularity to women's boxing continues to grow. Now if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched us break down Katie Taylor's amazing story and lifestyle. We'll see you next time.